you need to stop using the record button in Ableton Live. Now, if you're anything like me, not the greatest keys player, so when I'm playing in my MIDI notes or finger drumming, as soon as I press that red button, it's like all musical ability is lifted from my body and it says, Adios, amigo. Have no fear, my friends. Ableton is here to save the day. Ableton has this amazing magic little button as always listening to what you play on your MIDI controller. It looks like this up here. And if you haven't already noticed, Ableton has this thing of making really important buttons very, very tiny. <laughs> so you might not have seen this and you might have missed it. Essentially what this little thing is doing is it's listening to everything you play and storing it so you, as soon as you press it it will play it back to you sounds too good to be true right let's check it out so i'm just gonna put this song on i'm gonna click on an empty clip space here and i've got it record enabled now i'm just gonna press play i'm not gonna press record and i'm just gonna jam it around a few times and hopefully i will i will do something that's okay and then when i feel okay with that i'm just gonna press the midi capture and see if it's captured it see what happens okay so here's the tune their dodgy first chord but then I got it at the end okay so then I just press this MIDI capture oh my god <laughs> how amazing is that so it's taken the last um kind of two bar phrase and automatically repeated it for me so it has all the other ones so if we go right back to the start here we've got this jazzy chord going from pretty evil <laughs> okay so then i can scroll the loop grid all the way over to the last two bars here because if you wanted to go in there and quantize remember you have the midi transformation tool which is quantize uh, and then we can quantize it see some of these notes are well off so if i go back here i can just select this note come out of mpe mode i can select this note here awesome that's such a good feature if you haven't already used that use this remember it you know, for that time when you play something you think oh my god that was amazing I wish I press record. Ableton's listening. Now you can further adjust these notes with some amazing new MIDI transformation tools like Glissando, LFO, and Chop to really kind of make this song come alive. And that's what I've done in this video here. So if you'd like to check that out, see you in the next video.